So there are these two girls at my college who I guess are not the fondest of me. And I guess the moral of this video is that for whatever reason, sometimes people get into fights or people think that other people don't like them either because of a miscommunication or because people assume. There are a lot of assumptions that happen when people don't like people for the most random, non-existing reasons. So one of the girls that comes to mind um, was the roommate of a friend of mine. What happened was my freshman year I was in a triple, so sometimes I just kind of wanted to relax, unwind, and go to sleep a little bit earlier since the two girls that I lived with would sometimes go to bed a little bit later. So this girl was in a room by herself later. So she was nice enough to let me kind of take over one of the rooms or one of the beds, which was nice because I kind of had like a second room. But what happened was she had a roommate problem. So she moved out and was roommates with another girl. And I had seen this girl around and I spoke with her a few times whenever I went to go visit my friend. And she was nice. I wasn't best friends with her, but you know, just being nice and she was being nice. So I was like, okay, like I don't have a problem with you, whatever. What happened was they kind of had a disagreement, they had a fight, whatever, and she called me and was really upset, so I went over and was trying to just kind of comfort her and be there for her and help her going through the situation, and her roommate walks in and saw me with my friend and the RHD in the same room. So this girl automatically made the assumption that my friend must have told me, oh, this girl is so horrible, she's so bad, you shouldn't like her, you shouldn't even talk to her or anything. She probably, I don't know, but she probably made that assumption that I didn't like her. So I think that she just wanted to not like me before she could find out that I didn't like her. Even though, of course, on my end, that wasn't the truth. But when she walked in, she just gave me this really dirty look because she saw me and my friend talking with the RHD and she just automatically must have assumed, okay, she hates me because she knows that I'm a horrible roommate and she knows this isn't this. And of course people fabricate stories, so she probably was like, oh, you know, this girl said horrible things about me, so her friend, me, must not like me. So again, that was an assumption because I didn't do anything to her, I never spoke to her after that, and every single time that I saw her, she always gave me weird looks. She would always be like very high school kind of acting, you know, be with her friends because she's in a sorority and she'd be with her sisters and be like, you know, whispering and looking at me. And sometimes, I mean, it couldn't, maybe it wasn't about me, I don't really know, it just, from my point of view, it kind of looked that way because she'd be looking at me and then start whispering. So. I mean, I'm not 10, like I know what that probably means. So that kind of just bothered me and I just kind of brushed it off and let it go and then freshman year was over and then she still carried on and kept on doing it into the sophomore year. And I was kind of just like taken back by that. I was looking at her and I was like, for instance, or for, for one thing, I was like, could she possibly still be upset with me? Could she possibly still not like me because there was nothing that I did to make her mad. There was nothing that I could have done to make her mad. I didn't even know the girl. I didn't even talk to her. But because of my friend who then ended up leaving, she probably thought that I didn't like her. So she made the assumption. I've said that 10 times. But again, that is the point is that sometimes there's just a miscommunication with people and that's just how it is. So to answer the question, how do you deal with people that don't necessarily like you or how do you deal with people that just have a problem with you it's very hard to say just brush it off and don't let it bother you and I'm not gonna stand here and tell you just brush it off and don't let it bother you because sometimes it's not the easiest thing so my suggestion and this is something that I did with this girl if you see the person in the hallway give them a smile at first they won't smile back at you they probably won't even look at you they probably will give you a weird look but and as weird as this may sound, it's not really like giving in. It's really just kind of killing them with kindness kind of approach, I guess. 
that I would see this girl and just smile at her. And at first she would just look at me weird and just keep walking. And as I would keep doing that, I would start to kind of make like a bigger smile. And then I saw her one day and I just said, hey. I was just like, hey, how are you? And she just looked at me. And then, then she started to crack a smile. Then the smile kind of grew a little bit bigger. And just as I kept walking past her in the hallway, now when we see each other, whether or not it's fake, I don't really care. I mean, whatever, that's her own decision. I personally, again, like, I don't have a problem with her. I still don't. I never did, and I will never have a problem with her. I mean, I think she's nice. I, from those few times that we talked, like, she was nice, whatever. So I would really just say to smile at them, say hi, and see what happens. If they give you absolutely no response, um, either keep trying or... I'm trying to think, because, like, for... For me, what worked was just, and I'm not, I'm not really friends with this girl. I just, when I see her in the hallway, it still does kind of get to me. But you really just have to, to think that if that's what they're living for, if that's what makes them happy is to just rip on people and talk about you behind their back, then first of all, at least they're talking about you. Like I think Audrey Hepburn or somebody, or Jessica Simpson maybe was saying, or maybe Marilyn Monroe, I don't know, one of those girls that said, or maybe it was Paris Hilton, I don't know, someone said, you know, whether someone is talking bad or nice about me, at least they're talking about me. And I know that's kind of a weird philosophy, but it helps. If you just tell yourself something over and over and over again, you will start to believe yourself. So if you tell yourself, hey, I'm just that amazing and that popular and that cool and that amazing that they have to talk about me, and I don't really care what they have to say, I don't really care what they're doing, but let them talk about me. You know, like, there's some people, especially for the people that know you, if anything ever goes out, your friends will know that it's not true. And it will kind of get to you, but if you just kind of, like, get that past your, just let it go for a second, try this tactic, and then let me know how this goes, how this works, because there was another instance where another girl from another sorority, or there may be, the, there may be from the same one, um, actually there's two, there's, there's three girls, and they're all from the same sorority, I think, and again, I don't really have a problem with any of them, but I think it's just because they're all in the same sorority that they all just, like, assume that I didn't like them or something, and, um, so with this girl, the first one, the roommate of my friend, uh, we still, like, we see each other, and now we just, like, oh, hey, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. And that's it. And that's, as far as, like, I'm concerned, that's fine. Like, I don't have to be best friends with you. I don't have to go get my nails done with you or go to the mall with you. As long as now it's gotten to the point where she just says hi and I say hi, that's fine. There's another girl who is in the same sorority and would act the same way with me, and she wasn't even really that nice about it. She would literally see me in the hallway and just... You know, like, not even crack a smile. It wasn't until this year that, and that this is why I'm saying this too, because, like, there's two situations. So for people that continue to give you guys weird looks or continue to treat you weird, or if you still get that feeling that they don't like you, try not to see them. I, I don't know how often you guys run into each other, but we're in a small college. Like, I've run into this girl a few times, and it bothers me for the few seconds that I see her and I'm like oh okay I'm like she's probably gonna look at me weird again and then I see her and then we don't make any contact and then I just like pass by her like I'll smile and she doesn't even smile back and then it's just like okay and then it'll bother me for about 10 seconds after she leaves and honestly the only thing that helps me is to just keep myself busy the more you keep yourself busy the more your mind is preoccupied with everything else that's so much more important like club meeting. Oh, like I have to go meet a professor at this hour. I have a club meeting at this hour. I have this homework assignment due. <gasps> Wait, I have a project due too. Like the busier you make yourself, the easier it is to forget about things. And even for people going through a breakup or people going through problems with your friends, the busier you get with school and the busier you get with your other friends, the more your mind is consumed in those thoughts and the less space up there is left to think about the things that will really bother you. And if there's something that is really, really bothering you, just keep telling yourself that you are just that popular, that everybody loves you, that everybody has just 
they all want to talk about you all the time. You know, like you can tell yourself that. That's totally fine. Just keep telling yourself that everyone loves you that much and that's why they're talking about you because you're just too popular that they have to talk about you all the time. They have to know where you are. They have to know what you're doing, what you're wearing because you're just that much better and they always have to talk about you. If you keep telling yourself that, it'll work. Trust me. So another girl, this other girl, um, and I mentioned this in my video on how to make friends, is that like you really just have to kind of kill them with kindness and just be nice to them. Like you don't have to be friends with them. You don't have to like them. But if you're just open and friendly, it eventually will rub off on them. Because this other girl, she happens to be in one of my classes, and we awkwardly like saw each other when I was walking out, and she was there, and I was like, oh, this is awkward. And I was like, hey, and she looked at me and was just like, hi, or whatever she did. And then I was just like staring at her boots and I was like, oh my gosh, those are really cute boots. I really like them. And I was about to turn around and just move on and just, you know, I didn't think she was going to answer me. And she's like, oh, thanks. I like your boots too. And I was like, oh, thanks. Hey, I got them at Marshall's 30 bucks. And they turned into Ugg boots. And she's like, wow, those are really cute. And I was like, yeah, I love your outfit. And we just had like a mini conversation. And this is the first time we've actually spoken in two years. So if smiling and saying, hey, doesn't work, try to start off a conversation with them. Like, bring up something that if they're wearing something tell them oh hey that looks really nice and just see if that works um that's kind of what i have noticed to work is just the tactic of just being very open and friendly to people and if it gets to the point where it just bothers you so much just get involved with other things like i know i know that sounds so much easier said than done and i'm really trying to think about i don't mean to keep saying um but i'm just trying to think about other ways that could work. I really would just say to get busy with other things because you will forget about them. They will never forget about you because if, if you're just like the highlight of their discussion or whatever, they're always going to be talking about it. But you can't change the way that people act with you and you can't change the way people think about you, but you can change the way that you act and you can change the way that you think about people. So you can't make them change, but you can make yourself change. So if you tell yourself, they don't bother me. I love myself no matter what they say. I don't care about them. And they only care about me because I'm that much better. And they always have to be thinking about me because I'm the highlight of their day. So they have to talk about me because I'm just awesome. Just if you, and I know that sounds really cliche, but if you keep telling yourself that, you will feel better. You will start to think about it and your subconscious will retain this will retain this and soon you'll start believing it your confidence will boost up it'll be easier to make new friends and just branch out of the toxic friend group or whoever it is that is just bringing you down you just don't need to deal with that it's not worth it and there's a song that I'm gonna post down below in addition to a link to my Facebook page if you guys have any other questions um, or would like to send me anything just Go check out my Facebook page and send me links and pictures and awesome stuff and questions if you want to. But there's a song that's called Lucky and essentially the, in, the, in the song it's saying, you can fool yourself, I promise it will help. Now every single day I just want to hear you say it. I'm so lucky, lucky, I'm so lovely, lovely, I'm so lucky, lucky, I'm so lovely, lovely. You can fool yourself. I promise it will help. Now every single day, I just want to hear you say it. So even if you have to get up in the morning and just look at yourself in the mirror and say, you are lucky and lovely and everybody loves you and that's why they talk about you. It will be weird at first, but your subconscious will start to get it and that will help. So I'm running out of time. I hope this video helped. I also made a video just recently on how to um, make friends. So rate this video, comment below, check out the Facebook page and send me other comments and let me know how your situation is going. Let me know how everything is going. Maybe if you give me like a more in-depth description, I can help you guys out better, but excuse me, I have to go have dinner soon. Huh? Okay. So I will talk to you guys next time. Be strong. Love you guys and believe in yourself and don't let people change you. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.